Hey, hey everyone! Welcome back to the Spark Faith Podcast. I am Dr. Chris Sargent and today we are talking about fats. We're talking about inflammation, we're going to talk about gut health, we're going to talk about brain health and how all of that is connected. But first, if you're enjoying what you're hearing here, please tell your friends because if you are knowing something that they don't know, they might get a little upset. So show your friends, take a screenshot, Throw it up on your social media so that everybody can find me. And if you're really enjoying it, scroll down on your app, click click five stars, why not? And uh, you know, just leave me a little comment. I'd really appreciate it. Or if you're over on YouTube, comment, like, subscribe, um, do all the things, please. So moving forward, I'm excited as I always am to get here and talk to y'all. I love being able to do this. And tonight we're probably going to, today we're going to get into a little bit of chemistry, a little bit of biochemistry, but stuff that you're going to understand because I like to make it understandable and I want this to be doable. Okay. That is the biggest thing. The biggest takeaways out of tonight, today is going to be something that's doable. I keep saying tonight cause I actually, you know, I'm doing this at night anyway. So I, um, I want to start with the first thing that you need to know about fats is we have, besides the areas of your body that you know where there's fat, yeah, we all have them, uh, your brain and your nerve cells that go from the top of your head all the way down to your pinky toes and everywhere in between, right, are covered with a layer of fat called myelin. And that's not the only reason that we need to have good fats. But that's one big reason. When I tell you about good fat versus bad fat, then all this is going to start sinking in and you're going to be like, oh my goodness, I never want to have those bad fats again. So good fat, bad fat, bad fat. In general, the big uh, overarching statement is stay away from most of the heat processed giant plastic containers in your supermarket, right? Corn oil, vegetable oil, those kind of oils, canola oil, those kind of oils are not what you want putting in your body right now. They were, they were extracted with high heat, they're extracted with a lot of toxins, and they just are not what we want. Those are omega-6 oils. And omega-6 oils, we're going to talk about in just a minute because I want to I want to back up here. I don't want to get too far out of good fat, bad fat. So we talked about, we, you have a good idea of what the bad fats are. So when you eat out, you need to understand that most restaurants are not using good fats. Even some of the higher end restaurants are not frying their food in good fat. So it's the good fats are just expensive and restaurants just don't have the margin to do that. So just know that in a lot of places, and if you're eating out a lot, then you you need to you just need to know this, right? Like if you know, then then you can make choices. So the good fats that I that I really strongly recommend, like avocados, avocado oils, um, obviously olive oil, right? Olive oil. Yes, you're gonna get some fats from your nuts right from nuts cashews almonds those kind of things that's that's all good fats i just want to really make it clear what the difference is right coconut oil that's fine mct that's fine medium chain that's fine those are all fine um and to talk just a little bit into the vegan vegetarian land about flax the challenge with flaxseed oil and there's nothing wrong with it it's great right is that The omega-3 fatty acids that we need are very long chain fatty acids, but flax is very short. And we don't all, not all of us, have the enzyme that we need to convert flax short chain fatty acids to longer chain fatty acids in our body. We don't all all have that enzyme. So you're kind of taking a chance whether you're actually going to be able to make the longer chain fatty acids that you need to actually incorporate into your body from a lot of the flaxseed oil type type of supplements. So uh, I used to tell patients like it, it takes 11 grams if not more of flax to equal one gram of fish oil. EPA, DHA, and we're going to get into those distinctions in just a couple minutes. But first, I want to talk about why is why are omega six is so bad for us, right? Why is why are these oils so bad for us? Well, 
the first thing is that when we increase omega-6, we increase something called lipopolysaccharides. And those are responsible for changing the bacteria in our gut, right? So they change your bacteria in your gut. And the other piece of the mechanism is that they increase gut permeability. Okay, thanks, Dr. Sargent. Yes, big words, right? Basically, they create a leaky gut. And when you have a leaky gut, you're exposing your immune system. And we've talked about the immune system being in the lining of your gut, right? You're exposing your immune system to many things that your immune system shouldn't be exposed to, which turns on inflammation. And just as an aside, the if you have a large preponderance of omega-6s, your body is already primed to make inflammatory molecules, not anti-inflammatory molecules. So you increase whole body or systemic inflammation just by eating those omega-6s because your body doesn't have what it needs to make the anti-inflammatories, anti-inflammatory molecules, and you're causing leaky gut, okay? Not only that, but Omega-6s have been connected to fatty liver disease, it's been connected to cardiovascular disease, obesity, inflammatory bowel disorder, rheumatoid arthritis, Alzheimer's, dementia, that whole thing. So now we've just crossed over into brain, right? Leaky gut, potentially leaky brain, for the same reason. Those little um, lipopolysaccharides, LPSs, um, travel all over your body, right? And they can wiggle their way into the brain and start causing the same kind of damage in your brain that it just caused in your gut. Along with the fact that, yes, you're now, you also have, a, it's, you're set up for more inflammation. So leaky gut, leaky brain, and whole body inflammation is the result of eating too many omega-6s. So what do we do? What do we do? Okay, it's Foodie Friday. So we're going to start eating salmon one or two times a week, right? Preferably wild caught. If you can't afford that or find it, you're still better off with farmed fish, right? It's not ideal, but it's better than none. So um, tuna and salmon, the fatty, fattier fishes, and then you can also supplement. And we talked about fish oil a little bit the other day. What I wanna go into a little bit deeper is what to look for on those fish oils. What you're really looking for is something, when you turn that label over, you're looking for EPA and DHA. EPA is a strongly anti-inflammatory uh, molecule, fat, type of fat. And DHA is particular to the fats in the brain. And also the omega-3s are anti-inflammatory. They create anti-inflammatory molecules over your whole body systemically. So hopefully that makes some sense to you. And we're gonna focus on bringing olive oil in, grass-fed butter for some other types of good fats, um, MCT oil, coconut oil, avocados, avocado oils, and, and healthy non-rancid nuts. And so that's, if we can focus in on getting fat from those sources, we're gonna, we're gonna really start to cut down on the omega-6s that we're eating. So there you go. Hopefully that brings, brings it all home to you on Foodie Friday. I will put up some other pictures over the weekend and Love you guys so much. This has been such fun. Like, subscribe, and hey, have you registered for my event on May 21st? Huh, huh, huh? It's in the morning, and if you can't make it, that's fine. Go ahead and register, and then get the link for the replay. So you have no excuses not to register, and I can't wait to see you. It's gonna be a fun morning. We are gonna talk about all of this mental health stuff in a lot deeper detail. We're gonna dive into some self-esteem stuff, the self-hate, self-love issue, and definitely the gut-brain immune connection. So see you there, and love y'all. Good night.